The final form of saving that we'll be demonstrating today is the saving of scripts, which basically save commands that you enter into the command window so that you can enter multiple commands at the same time or perform multiple operations quickly or other such purposes. So in order to open up a new script for editing, we can either click on this new paper type icon on the upper left hand side of MATLAB, or we can write edit followed by the name that we want our script to have. So in my case, Celsius to Fahrenheit, and then press enter. And MATLAB will give us a prompt because the file doesn't yet exist and it asks us if we want to create it, so we can press yes. So the formula for converting between Celsius and Fahrenheit is actually pretty simple. It's the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to the temperature in Celsius times 9 over 5 plus 32. So given that, we can enter a uh, temperature in Celsius. So let's say the temperature in Celsius is room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, and then save that. Now we have a script called Celsius to Fahrenheit that has these two commands. Now if we run the script, either by right-clicking it and clicking run, or by typing the name into the command window, so Celsius to Fahrenheit, it's the equivalent of copying and pasting these two commands into the command window. So right now, you haven't saved a lot of work. However, what if your script included more operations? So if we did x is equal to sine of f and y is equal to cosine of c. Note that these are trivial operations, but they could possibly be useful ones in a script that you would write. So if we press save, now if we run the script, we're basically doing four operations very quickly in sequence. Also note that if, um, if we get rid of c equals to 25 and save this again, we can now run the script, given that we defined c beforehand, on a wide range of Celsius temperatures. So let's say we set Celsius equal to 20 and run the conversion script. It'll convert 20 degrees Celsius to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Then if we set it equal to 30 and run the conversion script, it'll calculate that 30 degrees Celsius is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And if we set Celsius equal to 40 and run the conversion script, it'll calculate that 40 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and so on and so forth. So quickly, we're already saving time because we're basically copying and pasting a command over and over again. And also, Note, this will be an opportunity to demonstrate one of the features of running operations within MATLAB. So if we put a semicolon after an operation, after an input in MATLAB, MATLAB will still compute the operation, but it won't return the output within the command window. So now that I've put a semicolon after our conversion and gone rid of the trivial calculations, we can clear our workspace up to make it a little cleaner and then we can set Celsius equal to 20. So notice Celsius equal to 20, and right now F is equal to 104. We want to calculate the actual conversion. So if we run our script, we'll notice that there's nothing that appears in the command window, but if we go to the workspace, F has changed in value to 68, as we would have expected. So we can try this again, C equals to 25, and then we run Celsius to Fahrenheit. And we notice that, again, Fahrenheit changes to 77 after we run the script. So remember, scripts are basically a way of copying and pasting a series of commands, or even one command, into the command window and running them. So you can easily imagine that scripts would be very useful for computing a wide range of tedious calculations where you have to run through possibly large sets of data or something similar.